I'ma stay touching all kinds of paper And I ain't never gonna give a fuck about a hater Cause I know, oh, I got soul, baby What's up guys, it's Guy King TV, you already know what it is, I'm Patai, hot as fuck outside in the middle of motherfucking August, but it's in Atlanta, so you know, we call it Hot Atlanta for a reason, so this video right here, I just wanted to make it about more so than anything, giving game on, pushing yourself to be your best self, a lot of the times, we can easily get slack, right? We can easily get slack because we feel ourselves. You know, we, we, we all should have an ego. We all should have uh, a reason why we feel like we that motherfucking dude, right? Now, being your best self is something that you have two observations going on. You have the observation, observation of yourself and you got the observation of people all around you, right? Now, the funny thing about having the observation of the people around you is that the one that you for the most part, care to have observe you and give feedback with is the feminine. It's the feminine essence. So every single uh, woman gonna have a different observation of you, but what you seek is the validation, not necessarily of the woman, but of the quality of man that you see in terms of how they react to you. Now, the money, the cars, all that shit cool. All that shit cool, you know? But at some point in time, you want to know that you that dude based off the qualities. Now, one of the things that I do periodically, and I, I think it's a dope thing to do. I've read it, I've read it a while in a book a long time ago, but I started implementing it. And what that was is asking your five closest friends around you. Ask them, ask them how their perception of you was when they first viewed you. When y'all first talked or first got cool, whoever. Your first five friends, right? And if you don't have those five friends around you, five people that you are cool with at this time. And hopefully you know you guys been cool for some years. Because that's when you that's when you really want to see the impact in terms of your growth. Um, and you have them give you an honest opinion. Don't don't have them give you some shit, just some, some uh, shallow surface shit. Nah, have them give you some real opinions of you. Hey, when you first met me, when we first got cool, when we first talked, uh, what was your perception of me? And have them really give you a real in-depth perception. You know, ask him, how did you perceive me in the beginning? How did you perceive me? Okay. Now you ask him, what ways have you seen that I've grown or changed? And what ways have you seen the negatives as well as the positives? What are some positive traits of my growth that you've seen? And what are some negative traits of where I'm at now that you see or residue that still sticks with me that I need to work through? And I think we don't give ourselves enough uh, credit in terms of being able to have people around that you can utilize and bounce ideas off that mean something. Because you got five friends around you, they, you value them in some way. So give yourself credit as well as your friends credit for being able to be in a harmonious relationship with each other for X amount of time, you know. I feel like people don't give themselves enough credit and you should be able to give yourself as well as your friends enough credit. Why is it important to have certain people do uh, uh, inventory on you? It's important because that way you want to see yourself in a certain light. Now, we live in a society where people will easily say, hey, hey man, all that matters is what you think about yourself. Yeah, but what you think about yourself can be so distorted in terms of what your soul's purpose is and what your soul wants, not just the ego. So it's important to have people around you that can give you a real life assessment of yourself. And a lot of the times, as I said in my video before, one of the best ways of seeing that is to deal with the opposition as well. So when I talk about having women around you, you want to be able to ask women how they perceive you too. Women going to give you an honest opinion about yourself. Especially if it's women that you, you, you know, that care about you, love you, have been in love with you before, uh, you know, whatever it may be. They're going to give you an honest perception of yourself based on what they see about you. And, and, and it's, it's a dope thing to do, man. Try to do this at least once a, a year. What I've learned to do is this. My birthday is um, my birthday is on September the 3rd. So we're, we're a little bit in the August about to go into Virgo season, right? 
So what I usually do around this time of the year is I reflect on where I was last year mentally, spiritually, and where I, I want to go. But I also do inventory. So I ask five friends around me, you know, what is my perception? Oh, how have you seen me grown in a year? How have you seen me grown in a year? It's important to kind of acknowledge your own growth for you to be the best person you could be. You're doing it for yourself because when your partners and your friends give you an a, a inventory of how you've been, take it into account. Don't dismiss none of it, especially when you have them give you the real. Take it into account, man. Utilize that shit. That's why you mirror each other. Some way we reflect something out of each other when you have people around you. So don't, don't take advantage of that. Utilize that shit, man. Actually take advantage of it. Take advantage that people see you in different spectrums. And you want to be able to know that you are a multi-dimensional, a multi-talented, a multi-spiritually sided person. You want to utilize all these facets of yourself. You know? It's for a reason, man. Um, didn't want to be too long in this video. Just wanted to get some game, man. Always continue to be your best self, man. Always be your best self. Always work towards it. It's not the easiest thing to do. It's actually pretty hard. Um... And this is one of the reasons why I think it's important to acknowledge that you are trying. If you are trying. If you're not trying, you just bullshitting, you bullshitting, and your life will show you that you bullshitting. But you, you get a chance to have a real life uh, analysis based on you utilizing your friends around you and people who care about you to give you some type of insight and feedback on yourself, man. So utilize that, man. This is Guy King TV. I'm Patai. Like, share, and subscribe. Cheer. <laughs> I will stay touching all kinds of paper And I ain't never gonna give a fuck about a hater Cause I know I'm